Unreal Engine just released version 5.7 with their own built-in AI assistant. Today, I wanna to show you three things you can do with it, and most importantly, what you can't do with it yet. So let's get started. Well, to enable the uh, AI assistant, go to edit and under plugins, search for AI assistant. And uh, this won't be checked for you, so just check it and then restart the engine. I've already done that. So once you are in the engine again, go to window and you'll find on the very bottom here, AI assistant or use the shortcut Alt F1. And then it opens up the assistant. Now this is basically like ChatGPT, but built into the engine. And the first use case you're going to want to use it for is basically asking questions that are specific to Unreal Engine without having to provide context. Of course, it has context of Unreal Engine. So I can say something like, what are the benefits of gas? Now, of course, if I ask ChatGPT this question, I have to first provide context. What are the benefits of Unreal Engine's framework called the game playability system and so on. But here, of course, it knows what context we're in and it knows exactly what gas is referring to. Now, the second use case and arguably the main reason why they built this is as a search tool. So I can search for any documentation in all of Unreal Engine's official docs. So I can say something like, um, give me the latest docs on PCG. So the benefit here, of course, is that um, I can get the official documentation of Unreal Engine with some uh, chat capabilities. So I can ask certain questions about this specific page. But yeah, as you can see here, this is indeed the latest PCG documentation. Now, of course, you can use something like this to write C++ code. So I'm going to tell it to write me a C++ function to add to my player character that does a sphere trace in front of me and launches any character that it hits up in the air. All right, and here is the C++ function. Let me just copy all of this, see if it works. Put it here, go back. Let's go to my um, BP third person character. I can dock the assistant here, by the way, it's always happened here. Now I'm just gonna do that when I press X on the keyboard. Let's call this function launch character in front. All right, and has some nice options. Let me put another character, go here, press X. Whoa, it definitely works. <laughs> All right, so of course, yeah, it's a nice use case, uh, but I have to copy and paste it for this. You're better off using uh, an AI assistant like GitHub Copilot directly in your text editor. All right, now I wanna talk about what you can't use this assistant for. So unfortunately right now, it doesn't have context of the project. So it doesn't have access to any of my blueprints or C++ code. So I can't ask it anything about my specific code. So that is one glaring limitation, but I expect this to be something that they add in the future. But for now, you can't do that. The other thing is um, when you copy C++, sorry, when you copy blueprints code, for example, if I copy, I don't know, uh, these three things, um, this copies their serialized text, which looks something like this. Now, you, the limit is 4,000 characters, as you can see here. So I can't give it complex um, a blueprint serialized text and to ask it to explain the blueprints for me. And uh, I can't give it like a long piece of C++ code and ask it to explain it. Again, the limit is uh, 4,000 characters. That's just 4,000 letters. And that's very, very low. So that's less than a thousand tokens. But again, something that I hope they improve on in the future. Now, if you're like me and you love AI tools, then you're going to love this AI chatbot that I built specifically for you to help you learn whenever you're following any of my videos. So this is a chatbot that has context of every single tutorial I've ever made. This means it has access to it, transcripts, comments, descriptions, and you can ask it questions that I've answered before. For example, I know that in the dash ability video, someone asked me the question, uh, why the dash direction isn't working in multiplayer? Now, this is a thing we haven't covered yet. We didn't discuss multiplayer, but I did answer the comments and um, I did give the reason and the correct way to fix it. So let's see if the chatbot knows the right explanation. So it says the, uh, that's perfect. So the last movement input vector is the reason, the explanation, how to fix it, and the exact comment thread where I gave the answer. So 
Let's see if this is correct. Let me open it. I don't remember. And indeed, this is the comment. Here I give the answer. Amazing. Now, this chatbot can do a lot more. Of course, it does have context over all my videos, but you can also just ask it general questions about Unreal Engine or about the way I teach or about how to find something specific that I've taught before. So there is a lot you can do with it and I keep updating it. And as the community engages with my videos, the chatbot gets smarter because all of the comments get added to the database of this chatbot. Now, if you're interested in using this, it's available on my Patreon, and I know it's behind a paywall. I really don't want to do this, but it is a benefit I offer my paid members because it's the best way to help me support the channel. So I give you this great learning tool that helps you learn Unreal Engine faster and helps you if you're stuck in any of my videos. Uh, of course, it does support me and support the channel a lot if you do decide to uh, check it out. So link in the description and on the screen right here. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.